Hi, this is Mark from Taranto Hala and welcome to this triple rehouse episode. Today we will rehouse an Amazonius Germani which will move into this plastic enclosure where currently is an Avicularia Euroensis Pero Purple and uh, the Avicularia will go inside this glass enclosure which also is not empty because here inside is a huge Psalmopeus Cambridge but it outgrew this enclosure so we need to put it inside an even bigger one so as you can see there is a lot of work to do so let's get started So let's start with the first enclosure for the Psalmopeus Cambridge. Let's go! The 20 by 20 by 40 enclosure is for the Psalmopeus Cambridge or the Trinidad Chevron Tarantula. It's a female named Torlov, after my good friend in the Black Bear Clan LARP group. Link in the description. As you maybe have noticed, the name is for a male spider. What can I say? Happy surprise! Sometimes it's good to be wrong. I love the Psalmopeus genus. They are fast, can stand their ground and have some crazy behaviors. The genus name is a combination of two Latin words. Psalmo, so psalm, and peus, which means poet. But I haven't yet experienced the reason of the etymology. Psalmopeus are supposed to have the ability to sing, or to be more scientific, to stridulate. When I first arranged a glass terrarium for it, I was not prepared how big it will get. Most psalmopeus can be kept in 20 by 20 by 30 enclosures. So I assumed that would suffice. I was wrong. And it's time to correct that error. I am setting up a standard arboreal enclosure and prepare myself mentally for the rehousing. I know for a fact that this specimen is feisty. Tweezers, water drops, roaches, mental presence, this spider attacks it all. To be honest, I am more cautious with this girl than with the Heteroscodera maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon, or with pokies, which in comparison are pretty skittish. As you can see, the enclosure is pretty dirty, but I learned a cool magic trick. Check it out. Cool magic trick, huh? All right, let's get this enclosure ready. This is an Avicularia uruensis species per purple. I believe it's a female. I am waiting for the next mold to confirm that, since the last one was shredded to pieces and the rest eaten by isopods and springtails. Avicularias are awesome for beginner keepers and are quite docile in comparison to Psalmopeus. The genus has also an impact in biology when it comes to nomenclature. Avicularias are the first tarantula species to be described scientifically. Specifically the Avicularia avicularia, so the pink toe tarantula. The name avicularia comes from avicula, so small bird, and the suffix aria pertaining to. From that name, the English bird spider or bird eating spider, the German Vogelspinne, and the Polish ptasznik derived. The name is deceptive, since in nature those spiders rarely feed on vertebrates. They create stunning tunnels in the upper corners of the enclosures, just like Caribenas and Iberaporas, which were also some time ago considered avicularias. There are differences why the Caribena and Iberapora were separated from avicularias. More on that in a different video. So as you can see we finished the second enclosure for the avicularia uruensis Pero purple. I added a firm that is forming an arch so that the spider has a lot of anchor points to make its webbing. So as you can see here we have the old enclosure for the Avicularia Uruensis Pero Purple. It's a bit untidy so we need to clean that up but you still remember the magic trick from before right? Let's try it again. Oh come on. Do it. There you go, 
Finally, the last species which outgrew its enclosure is the Amazonius germani, or orange tree spider, which was previously called Pseudoclamoris gigas or Tapinogenius gigas. Since this species is very bolty and fast, we weren't able to make any footage of making the pictures. The genera name, with no surprise, comes from the region they are living in nature, the Amazon rainforest. I prepared the braplast where the Amazonios will be living for some time by adding cocoa fiber and a cork hide. I keep the setup in plastic enclosures simple. They are just temporary for females. Only the males are living less luxurious, but they have a job to do after the final mold. So they don't really care about that. One note on the husbandry of those. They are fast, really fast. They can bolt out of nowhere, so be prepared for that. They look stunning, but lose a lot of their coloration after maturing to a male, which I was a bit unfortunate one time. So as you can see, the rehouse was a success. We have some new experiences in taking pictures of tarantulas especially with the Amazonius germani and the Psalmopeus cambridgei. The Psalmopeus showed us that New World species can also be bitey. And the Amazonius, the Amazonius was uh, crazy. It was running across the table the whole time. Most tarantulas are pretty calm when they are exhausted but the Amazonius it had energy without end so if you like what you saw consider subscribing ring the bell leave a comment what you like what you want to see in future videos and we will see you soon in the next episode Tarantohala out